And so, Billy, why don't you tell us, just tell us what you think about the launch party, what you did, what you experienced. Oh, well, everything was awesome. Uh, we went out to the ranch on Friday. That was a very good experience. I got to go ride, ride on horse. Horse. And I got to see 1,800 plus buffaloes. You got one of the largest buffalo ranches in the world. And uh, I got a tour through uh, Roger Ball's man cave, and it was awesome. It was so awesome. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of trophies on the wall that, you know, I, I've always wanted that. And one day, I'll sure have it. You know. So they got some real people behind this company. Real people, that's it. Real yeah. people. Yeah. So what about the day of the launch? Uh, when you went to the presentation, you heard the, the remarks and things. What impressed you? What were the three most impressive things of that day to you? Did you get any emotion on anything? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was uh, when Roger Ball got up to talk. You know, it really, really impressed me. You know, really, that's, and then I knew that the company was really for real. You know, <laughs> really for real. <laughs> really for real. Yeah. He oh, yeah. he yeah. did. Did a tear oh, yeah. come to your eye or not? Oh, yeah. He yeah. did. Yeah. The only reason I asked that is Billy told me about that. Okay, and he shared that with me, and he he said uh, Roger really touched his heart uh, and, and his talk. And then listening to Josh Anderson talk, you know, mm -hmm. he uh, really you know, really instilled that you know we have a lot of principles in this business. You know, a lot of what you know, it's like people helping people. It's all about. Well, let me ask you something. Are you going to ever quit? Never. Never. <laughs> See, that's what going quit is to an when event is, and when is means to you. You right. Okay, Eloy, come on up. Come tell us about. Come on, tell us about your story. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you're not in front of the camera. You're in front of your teammates. Okay. You're not in front of the camera, and you just you you share with them, you know, what what you experienced. So, uh, what was the highlights to you? Uh, was the trip worth it to you? That was well worth it. The highlight was getting to meet the owners, and uh, I'd already met Richard and Zach, but I got to meet Josh and Roger Ball and get to spend time with them and just. Uh, go up to the ranch and meet everybody else that was involved with the company and just kind of do a little uh, networking with them and uh, exchange ideas with them and uh, just to see that the company is on solid footing. What was the highlight out at the uh, Buffalo Ranch, at uh, Rogers Buffalo Ranch? What was your, your highlight event out there? Mine was uh, driving out there amongst all the buffalo, uh, you know, taking that tour among, among the buffalo and uh, up close and personal. Up close huh? and personal. You couldn't get any closer than what we did. Yeah, did you shoot a few rounds? No, I didn't, you know. You I, didn't? I shoot so much here, I, I figured I'd let those people out there <laughs> enjoy it. Okay, on the launch day, you know, when the owners actually got up and shared uh, all the information about the official launch, what, what was a uh, couple of things that really impressed you that day? Well, just the sincerity, sincerity that they had, and the, uh, the really uh, uh, Roger Ball at the very end saying, "Don't have any fear." He's never had any fear in his life. He doesn't understand fear, and, and you know, it just it was kind of inspiring, you know, to get you know, let you know if he's he's accomplished so much, you know, and. Uh, made a difference in so many people's lives, you know, if he can't have any fear, if he doesn't have any fear, it kind of gives you that same, uh, you know, inspiration to go out there without any fear and, and tackle this. And he, 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 he's got some goals, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. At 78, he has a big one. He wants yeah. to make this a billion dollar company. Yes. Well, he's and well on the way. overcome Malaluka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Come on. Okay. Uh, Sandra, get yourself up here, girl. Come on, Sandra. Come on, Sandra. Tell everybody what you enjoy. It was a privilege to be there. It really was. The people that we met, the people we got to mingle with at the ranch were so sincere. And all of the owners that got up and spoke were, you could tell they really had a heart for people that they were working with and they wanted to help other people. Uh, Josh is a wonderful speaker and he did a grand job. And uh, Zach is a little bit different, he's a little bit more emotional and wants to be on that side a little bit. But he had a wonderful story the way he told it. And um, we met a lot of the people that worked there. We met the accountant, her name is Perry. Let me tell you, those people worked hard to put this together. They were all out there at the ranch. They were the ones who were putting the tents up and the ones who were carrying the water and yeah. doing everything else. So they really did it for us. They, they did it because they really wanted us to enjoy ourselves. And I rode horses, I went on a hay ride, I shot a gun. I did pan for gold, but I gave it to, um, who did I give it to? I gave it to your brother. Yeah, yeah, because I got tired of shaking the thing, you know? <laughs> and I knew I had gold in there, but it, it, it just was taking me too long. Anyway, so I gave it to him to do it. We had a wonderful meal, and we all had a blast. Everybody should have that experience. It was a privilege to be there. Really enjoyed it. And the day of the meeting, they were all very inspirational. Um, we had wonderful talks. We heard a lot more about the company. We had another wonderful little meal. And then they brought us through the beef jerky plant. We saw that plant, and it is huge. So we saw the whole gamut of everything that was taking place. Oh, don't ask that question. <laughs> no, we didn't eat any beef jerky. <laughs> we could have. We could have, but we didn't eat any beef jerky. But um, And then we went to see, you know, we took a little time and we went to see um, the mountains. We went to Yellowstone, Yellowstone National, National, Park. National Park. So we really enjoy ourselves. I, I just wish y'all all could have been there. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> okay, baby. Your turn. Come on up and Let tell us. Go. <laughs> about your experience and what you enjoyed the most. My experience uh, was that you could see that people's heart was very, very sincere. And they were, they're wanting the smaller person, the smaller, us smaller people, to really be able to make it. And um, I was impressed with Roger and Marsha Ball. Uh, they were just, they were like us. You, they could walk in here and you would not know that they were as wealthy as they were. And they made you feel very comfortable. Um, uh, they uh, wanted us to uh, experience what having zero fear of going out and talking to others, what it could mean to them. Um, the speakers uh, that day, were, uh, you could see through their heart. And they they were, were not afraid to be vulnerable. They would even expose you know, some of their their fears and things and some of their hardships and things that they've gone through to bring home to us as individuals that this company is not for the big person. This company is for each and every one of us. And um, it, uh, uh, in fact, whenever I was sitting there, I kept thinking each and every one of you could have been there. I really, really would have, would have loved that because it legitimizes the company. Did you and, see any of God's creation while oh, you were there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, Yellowstone National Park, and that was beautiful. And that took in three states, Utah, Montana, and... Um, Wyoming, and uh, Sandra and George joined us on that day, and then another uh, one other day, uh, Bob and I went to uh, the Teton National Park. Teton. Yeah, Tetons. 
National Park, and it was gorgeous. Um, the song that we have sung all of our life, America the Beautiful, we saw it, you know, the amber waves of rain and the purple mountains and majesty. It was just gorgeous. And to me, it showed and it legitimized the fact that God did shine his grace on me. He really, really did. I wish I could have experienced it. Now, George is busy helping enroll, and Andy's busy helping enroll, and so otherwise I'd have them up next, but I'm going to go ahead and do my piece right now. And so we were fortunate enough to have a total of 10 of us go all the way to Idaho Falls to attend this event, and I'm like Pamela. I wish each and every one of you could be there. Now, they introduced our new 7K coin. Okay? And I'm putting it up here so the people on the internet can see this. Now, there's something about this coin that I want to share with everybody. It's a mirror finish. And it was made by the Idaho Mint. That's Idaho silver with 24 karat gold over the 7K. They only made 2,000. 2,000. They're not going to make any more of these. This is for the first lucky 2,000 owners. And since I understand value, I purchased 100 of them to make sure everybody in our organization could get some. And I was the very first person to make the purchase. I just went down there and wrote him a check real quick. And Chris said, oh, I don't know if you could buy 100. I think it's limited. <laughs> <laughs> I said, go get approval. <laughs> I said, because I'm buying it for our people. I want, we have over 100 people in our organization, and I want them to be able to at least have this coin. And I'm not trying to sell it to make a profit out of it. You know, the coin is $59.95, and if, if you buy it from the company, you're going to have to pay shipping to get it. And so I just charge $60 even because I don't like all the cents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it, it's the shipping. So you can have you can have these coins from me, but I do limit them to 10 to any one individual. That, so if you want to buy some for your team and your future team, you're welcome to. But when I'm when I'm down to my last 20, I'm not selling another coin except for $200 each. And then when I'm down to my last 10, I'm not selling another coin except for $500 each. Now, because they're not we're going to produce them again. Only 2,000 in the entire world. And when this company is a billion dollar company, those people who have those very first 7K coins are going to say, oh, I'm so glad I bought mine. <laughs> and you know they're going to produce one every year? And so after this one, the, the next strike, when they make them, they may make more of them, but it's for everybody after. But it will not be the first 2,000 to commemorate the launch of 7K medals. The company that has the backing of the right people at the right time, at the right place, with the right heart, 
and the right products. Just think, our competition is doing all the advertising for us. Y'all realize that? TV commercials, radio commercials, all magazines everywhere. Roslyn, Capital, Gold Line, Swiss America, Home Shopping Network, you name it. They're all advertising for us. And you, as a member of 7K, can buy one ounce or a thousand ounces, same price that those companies are buying it at. So that's the power of 7K. Now, we do have products, collectible products, that have a markup on them. But I'm going to give you all an example. And if you could have attended this meeting, you all remember we had the contest where they gave out coins and they said they're going to have certain coins, certain MS-70s, pandas, this and that. Well, one of the coins, like for that top producer, that they had, that was a limited, like this is a limited production coin. That was a limited production MS-70 coin from a different mint, okay, not the U.S. mint. But that was the product, that coin, that was going to be given away to the winner. Well, they could have purchased that coin at $1,800 when the contest started. They had a real problem, Eloy, didn't they? Because they didn't buy it then. The CEO made a decision, kind of wait, maybe he could get it cheaper. Duh. <laughs> it kept going up and up and up. And so finally they bit the bullet and said, we better buy it before it goes. <laughs> we can't get it anymore. They paid $4,000 for it. <laughs> so that's how much that coin went up in those few months and what the company will be selling is collectibles that's what we as customers buy now we can buy the bullion coins we know we're getting the best deal on that but we will be getting the best deal of the collectibles because they're not just buying mass collectibles they're buying unbelievable collectibles that you get very limited productions in. Now those are those specials, like they'll come and say, okay, they, they got it now. Well, you only have a narrow window. If you want one or more of those coins, you got that narrow window, because when they're out, they're out. They can't get no more. Basically, that's it. Now, for your coin of the month, you're gonna start having a choice. They're going to give you, you could get the MS-70, American Eagle, like we've been getting. But you could get kind of a, a choice. It, it rotates. It's a surprise coin. And you can get that. And then they're going to have other choices that you can pick for your MS-70 <laughs> coin of the month. And those selections will be coming up this month later when your new website, your expanded website, and your enhanced website comes up. Here's what I got out of the company, out of the, out of the, the party at the ranch. You got to sit amongst billionaires, like my wife said, who would, you would never know they're billionaires. They just go arm in arm with you, do what you do, just a regular person, regular people. They opened up their house to anyone that wanted to come in. The private That they 
They could have had this at one of his 17 hotels in Idaho Falls. They had it at his ranch and fed 300 people. That's pretty personal. Just think bringing 300 people or bringing 60 people to your house and feeding them and having them there all day long. And not even telling you to go. They would have sat there all night with you on the porch. I guarantee you. <laughs> or sitting in the saddle. On the or sitting in the saddle on the porch. <laughs> well, what I enjoyed at that at that meeting at the launch was all four co-owners had a story to tell. And I'm not going to repeat them. What you need to do is you need to hear them. So when they're up, you need to hear the stories or the excerpts or the clips of those stories. And then your company will mean something to you. This company will be a billion dollar company. And you know how I know? is because Roger Ball at 78 has set a new goal. And he will not fail. He's going to have a billion dollar company with us or without us. I'd like to take the ride and make a whole lot of money with him yeah. <laughs> and get some gold and silver. How about you, George? Yeah, I, I want to... What I got out of, the, of going up there what, okay, was it, it, it been verified everything that I felt. I knew that I was at the right place, the right time, with the right company, with the right leadership, and that I knew after hearing them talk and what was going to be happening, I knew that 7K medals and everybody that participated in it we're going to change millions and millions worth of people's lives in the United States. But not only that, we're going to change millions and millions of people around the world. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell a story, but I don't want to film no, it. No, you go ahead. No, no, I don't want to film okay, it. Okay, will you do that later because Andy okay. needs to come up. But I want Andy. To come on up, Andy, and tell us about your trip to Idaho Falls. Oh. Well, I have to admit, it was a little rough getting up there. We left here Tuesday oh, forget night. about getting up there. Just talk about up but there. But up there was great. It was great. We went to the ranch, and we, I saw the buffalo, and we, I paying for gold. I even got a little piece of gold they gave me. It was fantastic. We had to uh, think. They had to shoot. I didn't do I shoot, but uh, I did the other things. But the biggest part to me was uh, Tony Hubbard. Uh, actually, uh, no, Richard Hanson. I'm sorry, Richard Hanson, when he talk, talked about the island that he's been trying to get for like 20 years or so, $160 million. 160 acres. Oh, that's what it was? I thought you were talking about million dollars. No, it was 160 <laughs> acres. It was a lot of money. And he was short. Uh, right, that's what he was He was short 50-something thousand dollars yeah, to buy. That's right, and he had the coins. He went to his island, he got coins, and he found somebody. He took, let him had the money then, you know, for the coins, which he did get back later, but he got the island that he was been wanting to get all his the life. Land. Yeah. Right. And, and, it, and it just you know, just everybody just brought tears to everybody's eye. He was so happy about getting it. That's right. And of course Roger Ball was great too. Absolutely, yeah. So I had So are you gonna ever quit in this company? Yeah. As long as this company's here, I'm gonna be there. All right. That's what I wanted to hear. Now one last thing here before because see, you know, they had their testimony. Stay here, Andy. You're going to go first. We, everybody that's earned a check with 7K already, I want you to come up here one by one, and I want you to give a testament. I want you to give your name, what you do as a living, and how much, how much you've made so far. You made one check, two checks, three checks. Made a thousand dollars, twenty thousand, ten. I know nobody's made twenty, but <laughs> it's too young. 
Mm -hmm. Andy, we're going to start with you okay. right here. Yes, right. right there. You look right there. Uh, Andy Bernard, and I had, had got one check when it was still uh, in the... Doesn't matter. But anyhow... You made one check. <coughs> excuse me. It was a $1,000 check. You made a $1,000 check. And it was one. one. And that's powerful. Yeah. And what do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Uh, well, I'm pretty much retired, sort of, but I kind of do a little odd jobs and things. What's that? Uh, well, what, I play what, music. What? Music! Right. You're a musician! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give Andy a hand. Okay, come on up, Tom. I think your brother sponsored you, right? <coughs> oh, yes, yes. Yes, it means. Okay, come on up here. Your name? Thomas Bernard. And I have received two checks one for $1,000 and one for $1,050. So you've made $2,050. That's correct. And do you have any silver in your hands? Uh, I do. I have 10 silver coins. And are you retired? I am retired. Uh huh. And uh, uh, who who did you work for? What is your background? Uh, my background is computers. Uh, I worked for IBM for 24 years. Um, Have you ever made this much money in network marketing before, Tom? No. Ha ha! Give him a hand. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate it. And thanks for inviting your brothers yes, into this business. Okay, and Billy, you haven't made a check yet, but you're real close. You're getting there, I know. Okay, Mr. Woodrow Venable, I know you've made a check. My name is Woodrow Venable, retired from Georgia Pacific. Uh, I've been with this company since November the 18th, I believe. And uh, I made one 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 thousand dollar check, and I forgot how many five hundred dollar checks uh, to the tune of several thousand dollars already. Give Mr. Woodrow better boy a hand. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Brewer, get yourself up here. I didn't know who you wanted next. My name is David Brewer. I'm retired from a local utility company here in Baton Rouge area, Intergy. And uh, this is a great part-time income and business. So take a look at this thing and go with it. I've made one check and looking for more. There you go. And we just got started. George Donaldson from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I came from the corporate world. I thought this industry was crazy. I would never even think about doing it until I got shown it and decided to do it. And, uh, Ended up making a lot of money with that company, and and so when Bob got involved with this company, it was a no-brainer. I said I'm in. Got went to work, got started, started telling everybody that I knew. First week I made a thousand dollars, the next week I made another thousand dollars, then I made a bunch of five hundreds along the way, and then last week I made a five hundred dollar check, and this week I made a thousand dollars. So I'm a seven K medals lifer. <laughs> hey, come on up here, man. We're going to do this together. Okay. This is my wife, Pamela. Okay, now, because we just sat down at the table after we got back off the trip, because we really didn't know either how much we made so far. But, you know, we joined a couple of days before my birthday in November during pre launch. And, uh,. I think we've made what thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand, almost fourteen, and Pamela's made three thousand, and and I made the rest, and I said, okay, baby, your business is yours because I'm going to be a gold, <laughs> and so I'm going to turn the business over to her and let her do it all by herself. So her future earnings is hers, and she's ready because why? She went to Idaho exactly. Falls. That's why. Okay. Thank you. Sandra made five hundred dollars. Oh, Sandra, why didn't you get up here? She didn't even tell me she made a check yet. I did. I said everybody made a check. I want you up here. Let everybody else get up there. Well, George and I joined the Seven K, and uh, we're very excited about getting going with the company. And I made my first check recently, and I was really excited. 
George just made all the ones he talked about, but I made one too. Cha-ching. Ha-ha, where'd it go? I love that cha-ching, huh? Cha-ching. And so if you want to cha-ching, you need to join our team and make 7000 a week. And don't forget to watch my video on how to make 7000 a week with 7K.